Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood. It's Tip Tuesday, and I'm still recovering from the whirlwind weekend that was Open Camp. If you missed out on last weekend's conference, please go and take a look at the Open Camp website. There's some great information there, and more importantly, there's going to be immediate future events that you don't want to miss. Last weekend, I showed you a quick speed painting of how I removed a fence from a tiger image I had shot. This week, we're going to do part one of how I set that image up in Lightroom, and next week will be part two on how I did the masking in Photoshop. Let's go ahead and jump in. You can see in the image in front of you, this is the original photo, and the problem is this fence that's down the center of this tiger shot. So my goal here inside of Lightroom is to prep the image and create enough separation between the tiger and that fence that I can do an extraction that I want inside of Photoshop. I'm going to start by adjusting the white balance. The shot is just a little bit too warm for my taste, so I'm going to go with auto white balance that cools it off a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is drop the exposure. Now, if I were to hit auto, you'd see the exposure is fine, but I just want to drop this down a little bit and create some separation. So I'm going to drop that down some, right? And then what I'll do is I'm going to bump up the contrast, right? And then I'll open up the midtones a little bit by brightening those, right? The next thing that I need to do is I want to try and see if I can darken up the area where the fence comes down the center of the shot. So I'm going to use my adjustment brush for this. And I'm going to use a, an exposure adjustment. Again, I'll drop that down some. And now I'll just simply paint. And you can see as I'm painting through the image, it almost mysteriously makes the fence disappear. I'm going to paint some through the tiger, darken that up a little bit. Paint down here in the grass. <clears throat> you can use O to show the overlay. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the adjustment brush. And this is our image before, and this is after. Right? So once again, this is the before image, and this is after. So you can see, that's the prep that I've done inside of Lightroom. Next week, I'm going to take you into Photoshop to show you how I did the extraction. Uh, again, I appreciate, as always, your support. I can't believe we've added 300 new subscribers since last Thursday. Thank you, everyone, for joining me on this channel, and you have a great day.